Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I wanted to show my um, gardening books that I made. I used Sarah Elliott's Binding Style and I want to thank Amber for bringing that to everybody's attention again. I saw when she did it and um, I just was like, that's too much. I mean like for me, it's just too tedious and but it actually is really easy. Um, you just cover your chipboard, you know, whatever size you want to make your book. Cover the chipboard pieces and the bind, uh, the spine. And then just wrap, literally just wrap string around. And then she's got a really cool way to tie it. And you're done. This is paper that I was going to throw, like give away or throw away or put in a garage sale. Um, and I thought, well, I'll use a piece of that kind of for my prototype, but I love it so much, so I'm going to um, keep it to sell for my next sale. So these are the templates that I created on my silhouette for the seed packet, and I just enlarged it for a 12 by 12. I'm selling the SVG files for silhouette, and I believe it'll work on the Cricut. I had two, I haven't double checked yet, and I'll, otherwise I have a uh, paper template you can copy off, size it on your uh, printer, whatever size you want, and then just cut it out by hand. So here's a pocket on that with some um, Cavallini postcards. And then I found this book is the Betty Better Homes and Garden um, garden book from the 1950s. So I used this, uh, some of the pages, and then I just printed out a bunch of these, like helpful hints. And then inside is a page from the Reader's Digest, um, today's garden books. They're beautiful. I love them. So that's that. And then to decorate, um, I used the Your Creative Studio stationery kit from April. And I did a video on that, I'll link below. But here is that one. I love everything in here. These stamps are awesome, I used them a lot. It's just really nice stuff. Amber, Amber, Amanda did a great job with this one. I love it. So, the link is below for that. Then, I'll leave these out, but put this back. Um, I just did like little bits of lace here and there and trim. Then you can tuck anything more that you want in every page. And here's some coffee stain envelopes that I did. I had coffee stain the paper too. Uh, made a little envelope. And I don't have a tag for it yet, but that's okay. Here's a folder that I made, and this has got, I'm not sure who I got these from, I don't remember, but we had a hand-painted tag swap, and then I just made a tag, and then made just a little notepad, or notepaper, and trimmed it out a little bit. Here's another one of the helpful hint pages, and then some cards from that butterfly no, um, paper pad. Well, that's an, from somewhere else. And then an envelope that I made. And I added some quotes here and there. I might add more. And then I made a little notepad some, from some of the coffee stained papers. And there's just a little collage. So they can write on here or add flowers or something. Another helpful hint. Page. My throat is dry, sorry. And here's some more of these. And then this is for my friend, the lovely and talented Tasha Boyd. Um, her video or uh, YouTube channel is T-S-A-Q-T. T is a cutie. And you have to watch her videos. She has got the most incredible talent, um, especially her junk in the trunks. That's where you really get to get just overwhelmed by 
her quality of work. It's so cool. So I just added a little bit of that. She has this on a spool. It's really cute. But she hand stamped it. And then just uh, Cavallini butterfly vintage um, button. So I didn't do like a lot, but I just kind of wanted to do some decorating for them. And that's just a fun little um, glittery ribbon that a bird might spot and want to have. I did some feathers throughout. This is so they can plan their garden. And then help doing that is in here. Just different. Here's another little collage kind of thing. And then this is um, this has this is a uh, uh, cut apart from this collection. And then this is an antique note card set that I have. Not antique, vintage. It's from 75, it's not antique. Make everybody an antique. And then there's another helpful hint. So, this is this one. And then, I have finished this one. I love this paper. This is the um, Anna Griffith pack. And I, I, I think they had it. Pretty sure they have it at Hobby Lobby. I got mine at a garage sale. I don't even remember where. Honest to God, I don't. Um, but here's another Reader's Digest. And then this is the um, glass scene I used from Clear Bag. And there's another little feather. And some more Your Creative Time. Your Creative Studio, sorry. And it's pretty much the same. It's little different pages and trims. I like how this one turned out. This is from Rose King. Thank you, Rose. And thank you, Tasha, too, by the way. Tasha's too busy to make videos. Now this, in my video of putting this together, you'll see that I used some washi tape, some gray gingham washi tape. It did not hold up. And so um, I was really nervous about it. So guess what I did? I got out that paper tape from Dollar Tree, which is in the um, Band-Aid section of the store. And, you know, medicine or whatever. This is going to be perfect. I mean, you can't really see it, which, you know, the washi tape is fun to see, but not when it doesn't hold up. So I'm really glad I thought of that because it's going to be really good for this. I mean, it's not going to go anywhere. That's never going to come off. So I was bummed about the washi. In fact, um, I don't know if you know this, but washi, if it doesn't stick... Like if you open something up that you did and it's not sticking, it's never going to stick. No matter how many times you push it down. So just take it off and redo it. There's another envelope. And this is that same girl. I wish I knew who this was. I could probably go back. In fact, I will. I'll go back to the video. And I'm sorry that I didn't remember. And then here's another quote. I feel like that in the garden all the time. More like I just give, I just go up, I just go up to that. <laughs> Sometimes gardening can be such a hassle, especially when you're trying to do tomatoes up here. I swear to God. So there's another. And I want to do something here, like stick something coming down. I don't know. Maybe not. I think I need something there. Some more drafting paper. I like this. I hate when people accuse me of lollygagging when I'm quite clearly dilly-dallying. 
some more little glitter to catch the birdie's eye. I love how these turned out, some of these. They really did a nice, they really stained nice, did a nice job. The paper did a nice job staining itself. On this one, these were actually getting to the bottom of the pan where a lot of the sediment was. So I kind of just like played with it and worked with it and I love it. I really like how those turned out. Because you can probably see, not all are like that. See, these are a little lighter with some sediment. But I just take one of my big enamel baking pans um, and put really hot, strong coffee in it, like everybody else, and just dip it in and pull it out. That's how I did the envelopes, too. The, these things. The window envelopes. I love them. Another tease of cutie ribbon. And another little collage. Same thing in here, only it says peace. And these stickers are really cool. That's from your creative studio also. As is this. And that's Cavallini. So is that. So I do want to put a... This belong, book belongs to so-and-so, I think. I think. I'm not... I'm sitting on the fence. I, I for sure don't think I want to do like a gardener's notes or anything. Um... Because it's something that, it's very portable and reusable. I mean, you can take all these out and put another thing in. You know, you can put it, completely change it up. I'm also on the fence on how I'm going to um, cord it. I'm thinking of um, uh, what's her name? Sarah puts an eyelet here and here and then runs um, like lacy elastic through it. And I'm kind of thinking that. And then just let it um, like from the back, then you just pull over to the top. The only thing is that it's going to, you know, it's going to have to be a little loose. So I don't know if I even want to or not. Or do like a, the envelope kind where you do the circle and then wrap the um, string around it. I don't know. If I do anything with it, I will show you. But there are my two books. I can't wait to make more. I've got ideas. I want to make some recipe ones. I want to make some um, travel ones. And then I've got those recipe books from the Dollar Tree I want to make. So I am going to be going to town. I finally got my mojo back. It's been gone for months. I've just had a stressful year. And... Um, it's all behind me, kind of now. You know, the coronavirus doesn't help, but um, I'm just praying I don't get it, and I'm going to stay as healthy as a horse. So thanks for watching. Let me know about titles. Would you put a title on there? If so, what? How? Um, tying this up or whatever. And any other suggestions or complaints or comments or whatever. And please subscribe if you'd like. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.